Hello and welcome back. In this video, I have to clarify two mistakes I made in my previous walkthrough. The rest of the questions are correct, it's just these two questions I need to clarify. So the first one is going to be question 3a about the free body diagram. So here I drew the force of the hinge going to the left, but it's supposed to be going the other way. The reaction force is that way, but that's not the force of the hinge. That would be the Newton's third law pair. So the actual force is either going to be going like here, no, not downwards, it's going to be somewhere to the right or like somewhere up here. It doesn't matter which where, way you draw it, it just has to be in this region. And the purpose of that is to cancel out the horizontal force by the force of the tension, the force of the string. So to be somewhere around here, it can be around pointing here, here, there just has to be a force by the hinge. So this would be what f of h would be. And remember, they don't ask for magnitude, they just want to know where the force is being exerted. So that's the first mistake, and the second mistake is going to be over here. So here we're told to determine the speed of block A and B, because we need to find graph this. And my graph for A is wrong. B and C and the center of mass are correct, but A is wrong. So if we look over here, we can see that block A has been moving at, so position of 2 over 1 second, 2 meters per second before the collision. So 2 meters per second, if we apply our formula, that's 2 squared times 1.5, no, no, 1.5, 2 squared times 0 0.5 times the mass, which is 6 kilograms. So if we just write that over here, we have 0 0.5 times 6 times 2 squared, which is 4. That simplifies to 2 times 6, and that's equal to 12. So that means block A has a kinetic energy of 12 joules. And we can see that the change of block B is 9 joules, so block A loses 9 joules of energy. So 12 minus 9 is equal to 3. So block A has 3 joules of energy by the, after the collision. So if we use our formula again, 3 is equal to 1 over 2 mv squared. So mv squared. We know the mass is going to be 6. So 6 times 0 0.5 is 3. We can divide both sides and get 1. So v squared is equal to 1. That means the velocity of block A is equal to 1 meter per second. So that means we're going to erase this. And that means the correct drawing would be here. 1 because it's one second for one meter. So this would be the correct drawing for the line of block A. Now it has to be a straight line. This is just curved because I'm drawing it using my mouse. But yes, it has to be a straight line for one meter per second. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. Otherwise, goodbye.